Hey guys, it's Huang Fan, and today we are going to balance the a7 III with a 24-70 f2.8 lens on the Weeble S gimbal. And this gimbal is my favorite gimbal because it's powerful enough to hold this monster of a setup and to be able to do things like go into underslung mode and other stuff, which we'll go over later. So in order to balance it, we want to make sure that the camera is basically as close to what it's going to be like when we're actually shooting our video as possible. So lens cap off, make sure there's a battery inside the slot and make sure all the weights are basically as close as you're going to get. If you're going to use a filter or anything, make sure you put your filters on first before you balance because even putting a slight filter on after you balance is going to throw it off. So once we go ahead and we put the camera on the gimbal, we'll see that it's already front heavy and falling forward. So we're gonna have to move the camera backwards. However, if you're balancing with a zoom lens instead of a prime lens, you're gonna have to balance this at about the middle focal length. So in this case, I usually like to balance the 24 to 70 at about 45 to 50 millimeters. In this case, we're gonna do about 50 and it's still front heavy. So let's go ahead and swing this back. So in this case, we'll flip this knob so we can slide the camera back. And if we go all the way back, it's gonna be too heavy in the back. So this looks about right. Now holding the side here, cause it's rolling a bit, but you can see that it's not rocking forward or backward anymore. Now, if I let go of this motor, it's gonna roll sideways. So now we have to adjust the left and right. So that's a little latch under the bottom of the the gimbal here and we'll pull that over and slide it until we get to a point where it's balanced. All right, so once we have these two axes balanced, you'll be able to see that if we move the camera, for example, and just let go, it should stay. And if you're having issues with that, you'll see that it's still moving. Like once I let go, it might drop, for example, but if it's perfectly balanced, you should be able to point the camera and let go and it should be good to go. So now we have our last axis here. If I go ahead and I move this axis around, actually, it seems like this one is already fairly balanced because it's not swinging. All right, so once we have our axes balanced and there's tons and tons of YouTube videos online of how to balance gimbals, so I'm not gonna go into all the details of that, but you should be able to just turn your gimbal, point it at a random direction, and when you let go, the camera should stay instead of moving around. Once you have that in place, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the gimbal. You'll see the screen here lights up, it's on. And now we are rolling with the 24 to 70. All right, and what I love about this gimbal is that it does allow you to swing. It has enough clearance basically so that I can swing the camera like this and not hit this top eyepiece because that was a problem with other gimbals I was using, including the Weeble Lab, which is weaker than the Weeble S and can't handle the 2470. But this can, and it's pretty solid. It's still quite a heavy setup. So you're gonna be, if you're gonna be holding it for a while in, uh, better work out your arms. I used this for a wedding once and um, had this set up pretty much the whole day. Uh, was able to get through it, no issues. However, it was just taxing on the arms, but this does allow you to switch focal lengths and you can switch to 70 here and you're still balanced. So it will keep it smooth or switch it to 24. And same situation, you can still utilize it there's no issues here. And that's what I love about this gimbal is you can pretty much use it at any focal length for a zoom lens like this. I haven't tried this with a much longer focal length than the 2470, but from a weight perspective, the 2470 and the a7 III does fit cleanly on the Weeble S and allows you to go into underslung mode, which is what I was mentioning before. And this allows you to get those low angles, for example, or if you're simply just walking around, it's a lot easier to hold the gimbal like this, as opposed to just holding it with the, the, the one grip in the back and letting it hang over, especially with something that's this heavy. So I personally love this gimbal and I have an extra grip here. Usually it only comes with one and you can place it up here and then hold this bottom piece. But in order to utilize all of the controls and the functions here, I like to have two grips on here so that I just hold the gimbal as such. 
and I don't have any issues with having to switch them the grip midway if I want to get into underslung mode or anything like that. I can just easily swing over, utilize that, swing back. Obviously, this gimbal is powerful enough if you're using a lighter lens setup, such as a prime lens or anything smaller or lighter than this 2470. This is the Sigma one, and it's pretty heavy, but this gimbal can hold it. So if you're using anything lighter, then this gimbal will have no problem doing that. And it is a solid gimbal, so I do highly recommend it. Just again, make sure when you're balancing it, if you have any filters or anything else that you're gonna put on it, accessories on top, etc., just make sure you put those on before you balance it because, for example, if we just take the lens cap and we put this on here, now you can see it's already off balance and that the lens cap is fairly light in and of itself. So clearly, you wanna make sure the camera is in the situation you want it to. And I have made the mistake before of balancing it with a lens cap on, so make sure you take the lens cap off and then you should have no problems with it. All right guys, that's it for this video. That's how to balance the 24 to 70 or pretty much any zoom lens on a gimbal. The only thing is you'll have to make sure you have a gimbal that's powerful enough to hold the uh, camera weight and that zoom lens, especially something like the 24 to 70 2.8, which is pretty heavy, but the Weeble S is a solid gimbal and this will be able to handle it for sure. And there's other gimbals out there that can too. Just make sure you're strong enough or otherwise you're gonna burn the motors out and then ruin your gimbal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one.